What is happening, everyone? Nathan coming at you with some more mono type today. You know, I've been just craving so, so badly to play some mono grass at this. They play more mono type. It's my favorite type. I really do feel like if I wasn't like a creator and trying to make like all kinds of different videos and all kinds of different like highlights of different typings and shit like that, I would just be like so diehard a mono grass player to try to just master every in and out of it. I've said before, you know, I like just the aesthetic of grass type Pokemon. I love Sylvanos and the game Rivals of Ether. I just love the idea of like, you know, Pokemon are one with nature and it makes so much sense for grass Pokemon to kind of like spring from trees and shit. And if I want to play grass, not the monotype, regular monotype is not the place for me. It's just, it's, it's still too ass to even like be remotely competitive. So I figure what the hell, let's just like cave to the pressure and everyone asked me to play some Nat decks. Let's do it. I'm sure I'll love it. I have no reason to not play at this point. We're going to use the sample team here. I do want to make a couple quick changes from the sample team to my own preference. For example, I like heavy dudes, prankster, whimsicott, but I'd like to have defog on because you know, my only hazard control personally. Sounds probably really good. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, Meow Skarad, I haven't used, of course, because I mostly played Sword and Shield uh, um, monotype, but having an upgrade to Scarf Sarud seems pretty sick. We'll go with Play Rough here. Venusaur, also sick upgrade to Amoongus. Really awesome there with Thick Fat is gonna be huge. I can already tell. Ideally, we'll keep as a Spadef Beast. We'll keep Ferrothorn like this. I will probably lean towards Protect because Ferrothorn is so important and puts in so much work that having the extra recovery with Protect Leech Seed. Plus in, in Monotype, there's so many like Choice Lock Pokemon. I like having Protect as a buffer to kind of like guess what your opponent's going to do beforehand. And I'm going to make you Choice Band. Uh, we don't have a lot of setup sweeping on the team so far, but I just find that Rillaboom either puts in work or it doesn't, if that makes sense. And if that's the case, um, I want a Pokemon that just like hits hard immediately. It's rare that I'm set up sweeping with Rillaboom. I'm just using it for Grassy Glide 90% of the time. And if it's good, it's amazing. If it's bad, it's useless. So I'm just going to just lean into the Grassy Glide of it all with Rillaboom. So those are my changes. Pretty minor. I'd be interested to see what other Pokemon are viable in a Nat Dex monotype team like this, right? So the big addition is, of course, going to be Venusaur. Oh, and we're in a mirror matchup. Let's go, brother. Um, who else would be like a huge addition to have on the team? Iron Leaves is interesting. Superior would love to mess with. Lilligent, Decidueye, and Electrode, I'm sure could find a slot on the team over Meos Garada or Whimsicott. That's pretty cool. Um, Abomasome Mega is interesting too with the boosted special. I think that'd be more interesting on Ice though. I like the thought of that. Bloom, you always want to squeeze onto a team if you find room for it. Probably it. I think it's unlike Psychic, I always think of, or even Water. Where there's like 12 different Zerud and RU. Wow. I think R I think Zerud would still be fine. Just with uh, jungle healing and shit. But sorry, to, to finish the thought, I think that you're always going to have uh, like a smaller pool with grassing with something like Psychic or Water where you can have just 20 Pokemon and they're all pretty viable. But anyways, let's hop into it. Uh, we're against Trico here. We're going to go with, uh, if we're looking at Wind Cons, by the way, it's probably Venusaur. But you were a little bit scary, especially with Ice Beam. I think controlling hazards can be pretty huge, actually. Um, stealth rocks are on you. Okay. I like that. We have the same lead matchup. <laughs> We're brothers. I'm going to get them all up. I've got Defog. I don't know if he does. Uh, this is why I want heavy duty boots. Oh, shit, eh? That's pretty scary. Uh, we're going to go to Whimsicott and Encore then. Body press won't do too much to us, even if they do, go for it. Uh, I'll encore that. Then go for the defog. They should be swapping out here. If they stay and just keep stealth rocking, that's fine. I got a whole lot of PP here. They do. Okay. They want to stay the course. Let's see what their set is and go for a moon blast here. 10%. Should be lefties. We're not able to break them, sadly. Go for another encore. Do we swap? See, a swap out to. Ooh. I mean, Septile actually, I didn't consider before, but that is a fun addition. I'll go for Defog here. I don't want to get Moonblasted very much. How much do I care about rocks? 4% on everyone. It's something. I'll go for Aerothorn. Why not? Not too worried about this matchup. For Spike here. If they Iron Defense into a Body Press the next two turns, that's fine. I'm Whimsicott. I'm not worried about it. I don't have a slow start, but I do think this game's going to come down to Hazard Control. They say, bro, get out of my head. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna do Wimpscut again. I don't really care what they click right here. I guess, I guess Power Whip wouldn't be great. Oh my God, they, they're actually running Iron Head. 
That's crazy. Um, Iron Event Stealth Rock Iron Head. Oh, I misclicked. Mm, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, so now I'm dad bad. Down bad after that misclick. Plus after. Wow, okay, now they're reading me. They, what a set. Okay, they do a body press. Gonna be Venusaur. I, I mean, I've the last four turns have been disastrous for me. I want to think they also would have that, and they crit me there. Um, this is my win con. They don't have a critically. We do. We're not gonna get the kill here. We're gonna body press. That's fine with me. I'll, I'll set this here. Sludge bomb is gonna go crazy after we get this mon out. I mean, disastrous couple turns there between the misclick and they reveal they have Iron Head and they reveal they have body press. It's just one bad turn after another here, but. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. We got the Venusaur. They don't. We got the Cordelia. They don't. Um, so we have a spike up, which is nice. I think I'm Celebi not sticking around to find out what you're going to do. Risky switch with Mio Scarada here, especially if they click something like... Oh, that's fine. Totally fine. Easiest huge turn in my life. We'll kill if they stay in. That's exactly it. And then I think I go Venusaur to force the Sceptile. Uh, no, I'm going to go with my Cordelia straight up. And go for a toxic and hover comes in. You see Rillaboom. Hmm. I don't know. It depends what the Rillaboom set is. I think it might be just be best to toxic. Oh, you can't beat me. You do not defeat me 1v1. They're much more offensive than we are. We're lasting the battle right now. Iron Tail? Can we miss the toxic? Does Iron Tail have any chance to kill? I don't think so. What a Ferrothorn. It's a physical Iron Tail Sceptile. As they Dragon Pulse crit me on the read. Oh my god. We'll protect here. I think we live whatever we got. Plus we can scout if they've got some sort of nonsense. I think we can kill with uh, Mio Scarada. Maybe we should have Gyroballed there. Honestly, I don't know if a spike helps us too much. I'll go for the double protect. Why not? We're, we're dead either way. Mm, yeah. That's the play. Actually, no, yeah, that's fine. We get it, which is awesome. Um, if they kill me with Dragon Pulse, I can go for an Encore with Whimsicott. Or just kill. Holy shit. <laughs> the benefit of being slow versus fast. I can't believe Ferrothorn won that 1v1. Uh, Jarball's 2 at KO range. We'll do that. Oh, no, brother. My brother's down bad. Trico, no. <laughs> they are Life Orb. I just don't want them to Swords Dance, really. I think we got it pretty wrapped up here unless Ludicolo does some business to us. Why didn't you do that first? You had Drain Punch? Come on, what are we doing here? Um, oh, Mioscarot is dead. Shit. Let's go to Venusaur. And let's Sludge Bomb. Which should be the win, unless Wimpscott 6 owes us. You never know. Oh, I love Thick Fat. It's so good. It's so excellently good. Okay, well, really, Frankly, embarrassing start for me, but my first Natex game. But I'm, I'm, it was fun, you know. We had to be a sort of some work. We had to do. We had to do well. Let's try to uh, bounce back going forward. I'll get another game here. Um, let's see if I'm can go on the streak of a lifetime, the 5-0 streak. You never know. It really is insane how bad that couple of turns were there. Like unprecedented bad beat. The crazy thing actually about Natex monotype is I've also assumed for a long time that it's really small comparison to regular monotype and then i was talking to king crabs recently and he said oh it's huge like it's like it's massive and like he thought it was the far bigger of the two like almost double the size of regular monotype actually to the, both of our surprises monotype had about 120,000 games played last month and natex monotype had about 100,000 games played so about a 20 10 to 20,000 difference about like yeah 10 to 15 percent difference so they're very neck and neck and equal, probably as close as they ever will be, but um, not quite dwarfed yet. Either one. I thought it would be one side of one way or the other, but that's not the case. We're going to go with... I think Rillaboom is a lead. Yeah, I was wondering if I horsepower would kill. That's crazy. Assuming there's no physical investment, even max HP should kill. They're Fizz Def, and they... Poison kill us. This is not excellent. Uh, let's do a double switch to Venusaur. On the Lunatone. It's probably its best matchup there. 
Awesome. I'll go for the leech seed here as they go for rocks. I wish I could Giga Drain, honestly, but leech seed's good too. Venusaur gets hit hard by four move slot syndrome. Venusaur's not going to be doing very much in this game at all, so I'll keep it for a Lunatone answer. We get Uxie next. What are you doing, Uxie? All Leech Seed. You must be running Psychic or something. I mean, I said that you can run all kinds of different Pokemon in Psychic. Five of these mods were not who I had in mind. <laughs> There's the Calm Mind. Uh, let's go to Credelia. It's Bedeft, and I can Toxic it. For another one, it's fine. I should have gone Whimsicott, honestly, and just encored it. Misplay on my part. Kind of make it a bad place, but we'll manage. With Leech and Toxic, you're going to be worn down pretty quick. Probably another Calm Mind here. Oh, you're just going to go Blasting? That's all right by me. Okay, we're really well positioned right now. Um, don't love what happened with Rillaboom. I, you know, I was thinking about maybe a U-turn there, but it seemed like that was the obvious play in retrospect. Um, and then we're going to be full health after this Oxy's time. <laughs> it's just pretty great. <laughs> Sending in after the fact. Malamar, I guess, who I'll go to. Um, tempting to do Rillaboom, but it's too low. Slowking comes in, makes an appearance. Uh, Slowking's pretty scary. I think we gotta go Venusaur. Okay, true, good pivot, bro. Um, Sloking is scary against Venusaur 2, of course, but I don't think they often cover just straight up psychic coverage. I think they just run Future Sight. Here's a word here. Let's go to Ferrothorn. As far as I know about this mom, we should be able to handle it pretty nicely. Very cool. Uh, I'll go for the Leech Seed, friends. Covers your swap, covers you staying in. Spikes is good too, but you know we're running balance, so I just want to make sure I'm in a good spot. Amazing, and they're gonna forfeit. Awesome. Okay. I mean, people are just kind of hitting us with a lot of like, you know, uh, imbalanced offensive teams, and we can just handle that with our core all day, all day. And Venus was a great addition because Amoongus was it's what it's replacing, and you needed Amoongus for a lot of reasons, but it really did not. It was kind of it was kind of like Rillaboom in the sense where like when it's necessary, boy, it's necessary. You're so glad you have it in your team. But a lot of games, it was just like one extra mine you could throw out there and hope you get a Spore proc on it, right? I guess Spore was kind of the equalizer. It always did some work. We're gonna go against a dark team with a Mega Sableye. And I am going to 218. Hmm. Arizona's great against Grimmsnarl, not against Sableye. Dilly is in the same boat. Venusaur, how do I even deal with Sableye, honestly? Boomscott's a good play, actually, against both. Boomscott's, of course, would be really nice with that Fairy and Moonblast, but I can just Moonblast you. I can't Encore you. I can't Encore you, but I can Moonblast you. Okay, let's just do it. Let's go offensive. Sableye's in the answer. You know, I think especially at low ladder, people are pretty eager to get their Megas mega Sableye is an even stronger example of that because you're afraid of, uh, you, you want that magic bounce up pretty quickly. Uh, if you're just gonna recover, that's fine. You don't really have an easy swap in besides these two who are taking decent damage. Pretty sharp's an interesting choice, really. I thought they would do a protector or recover here, but realistically, I'm losing 6% of turn. I'm okay with just staying the course. Do you not have recover? There's no way. I guess you're just stalling turns. So I'll protect again. I'll do one more Moonblast this turn. And then on the next protect, I guess I go Rillaboom. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess it was a bad play to stay in for all of this. No, they just sack. What the hell? It must be knockoff. Okay, I mean... This is my most important mon, and you got 30% health off it, so good for you. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, next, we'll see Hydreigon. I want to give you a lot of benefit of the doubt here. Garchomp pre Exedo 3, and assume you're going to Flash Cannon here, but if you actually you could do Scarf Flamethrower, I gave them too much benefit of the doubt. I'll do one more Protect. Just make sure they're not switching to Flamethrower here. Fine. Leech Seed is so good. 
<laughs> just it's this whole team is built on the back of leech seed <laughs> grim snarl i'm guessing based on the crazy shit i've seen so far you're going to be offensive so i'm going to gyro ball and shoot a bit off after this for your bulk up 50 percent or just drain punch immediately <laughs> They're surprising my expectations at every turn. <laughs> it's just dead. <laughs> it's not even max HP. <laughs> okay. Uh, next has got to be Hydreigon with Flamethrower. You can't run a Hydreigon without Flamethrower. Please. Show me the Flamethrower. Great. Uh, Cordelia will handle this fine. We don't have Thick Fat up on Venusaur yet. We don't have any immunity to fire like you'd want, but we got two neutralities, which is great. Stealth rocks here. Why Bisharp? Maybe I guess it's Evil Light, but I feel like King Ambit is better, or like going down with defensive is wise that you don't want to. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm weirded out. Confused. I'm puzzled. I'm vexed even. Ferrothorn all day. All day. Easy. Go for the Leech Seed. And I should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but. If you want to see me run a certain team in NAD decks or whatever, make sure to leave a comment. Uh, don't really have any preference right now. I'm just kind of trying all this shit out. So uh, happy to see what people want to see. If you have any specific recommendations, I'm down to clown. I'll just gyro ball. I don't need to protect. I got this game in the bag. This is the easiest live of my life. No stress. I'm back with my old boys leech sheets, leech seeding on everyone. It feels good. It feels like I'm back. I'm thinking I'm back. Later. They're dead. Amazing. We should do a Woch Yen Grass team. So I can just spam this moat. It's been so long making it just to not run Woch Yen. You could do Grass Stall, maybe. If you're doing Woch Yen, it's pretty defensive in nature. You could do Woch Yen over Meos Karata. Keep Whimsicott. And then maybe instead of Rillaboom, you go like. That's that's toxic. Tangrowth would be, excuse me, would be good. Um, Bramblegast, if you really want to control the field's hazards, that's an interesting one. Celebi, Delmi's rapid spinning. That would be fun, actually. I like that. There's a lot. If I want to do grass stall, you could probably be somewhat successful with it. Um, okay, we're against Fairy here. I'm liking what I'm seeing for the most part. Mega Diancy. Mega Diancy's book one I really don't have that much experience playing with. My Gen 7 OU days were limited in the scope of my total Pokemon. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But I know enough. We're going to go Pharaoh as a lead. Three spikes, just don't taunt me. If we see screens, I can go for Gyro Ball. Mm, no, just, yeah, let's go spikes. Yeah. Get him up. We might see a defog, Tapu Koko. We might see a taunt here, but I think you went parting shot attack nowadays. Parting shot, the gain of parting shot and Grimstarl is huge, of course. But you do miss that taunt every now and then, you know? Like, it, it's when you're setting up hazards and you get another, like, you know, offensive lead like this, it kind of hurts. Uh, all me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this just to mess with them. Just to, I actually should have gone Venusaur. Venusaur was a much better play. <laughs> you know what? We got like 70% on them. Iron Barms chip. It was it was funny to uh to be toxic like that. Iron Valiant's tough for a team for sure. Uh you don't know if they have psychic coverage or not. I'm gonna go to Venusaur immediately. Be nice to get a mega up. Okay, you go for that. You should be knockoff, spirit break, close combat, in which case, yeah, just rip a sludge bomb. Nancy's bolt. Really wish I could get drain now, but what are you gonna do? Poison. Um, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up, honestly. Mega, Diancy, Smogon. Thank you. Moonblast, Mystical Fire. Oh, see, I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, that's really important. I was about to go to Ferrothorn, but it seems like the answer is going to be Cordilly here. Although, Mystical Fire, we wall. We wall this. We, Psychic would be bad, but I don't think we get O-Code. I'm going to go for the Leech Seed. Just give us... Oh, wait. 
Magic bounce. I'm stupid. And they get the boost. That's on me. Um, they're not body press. Hmm. It's been nasty all of a sudden. I, I didn't need to make this. Didn't need to be that hard. Um. Mia Scrat is great. I might have to sack somebody so I can go to Mia Scrat and revenge kill, which is fine against an HO team, but holy crap. Ugh. This. They might, you know, if they're running this, it's already a little bit different. They might not be running Mystical Power or Mystical Fire. This is why you love Protect on Monotype teams. I, I always love finding room for it. Okay, well, that's great. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> you kill it, though. A little bit of a mistimed yeah. effect on my part. What's worth it? Oh, stressful game. Diancy can run on everything, it seems. Your boots. Volt switch. I get a little bit back. We're going to go to Rillaboom. I'll be able to force her enamorous swap. Or maybe Tapu Lele. There's the enamorous, though. Uh, mystical fire, earth power. There's nothing. This was fine. Yeah. We'll leech seed here. I need recovery. I want to force a swap. Lele. I mean, with spikes, I can just keep this. I don't even have to get any offensive pressure. Like, fine. Like, I'm, I'm fine with that. So I'm just going to go to you. I was already a little bit like disrespectful with the Meowth Karata earlier. So I, I fair not doing too much at this point. I'm fine to risk it. Yeah, you know, that's fine. Um, you're probably choice locked. Yeah, you took boots. You, you're, you don't, you're not boots. You're not lefties. I'm going to go for this. Did she again? Yeah, let's do it. Grimstone, I'll get those screens back up. You got to choose one screen though. I'm only going to let one go up. Or not. You went for the attack. Wow. Oh, because of second terrain. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Enamorous makes another appearance. You do not defeat me 1v1, my friend. You really, it's, it's, we're, there's levels to this shit. There is, there's levels to this shit. There's I'm like, leaving here with I'm something. leaving with something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. I'm really enjoying the effects today. I don't know why. It's fun. Uh, let's leech it here. I, I don't even know if I can kill Mystical Fire anymore. Coco, the only boots user. You got to defog Coco. Do it for the fans. You got to do it. No, Coco. Your, your men are dying out there. They're dying. Oh. Oh, don't send Tapu Lele out like this. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, no. It's, no, Coco. Think of, think of the Lele, Coco. Please. Oh. You hate to see it. Uh... This is really gutsy. Okay, they got that one. Nice. I'll do this. Then I'll synthesis. 25% and the special attack drop. Venus are kind of just solos though, honestly. If we had Giga Drain, we would actually just solo. I feel bad. They're just they're 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 throwing They're throwing everything against this Venus or just bouncing off. It's like uh Oh, that's way too specific of a reference. There was an X-Men that was like this big, bulky, like, like literally a fat character and like attacks would bounce off of it. I think his name was Cannonball. That's this Venusaur right now. Just Cannonball, everything bouncing off. Knockoff is not it, Iron Valiant. He's still a weirdly good counter. Wow. Venusaur essentially 6 0 Crazy performance. Uh, I'll just sludge bomb, whatever. We don't need to make this last any longer. Oh, it Okos? No. Okay, crits. Fair enough. Well, I was gonna end the live here, but we're undefeated. And I feel like we haven't gotten many good games, so let's try to let's just keep going until something stops. We're up against a rough team. We're gonna see. We don't care about you, Genie, so much, but Charizard probably looking at this. Yeah, I don't know the rules. I don't know if you can Terra into Charizard X. I'm like eighty percent sure you can. But point is, Celesteel was always the biggest problem for Monograss. Um, and I never played against Mega Charizards last generation, but imagine it is similar. And Hurricanes from Zapdos is not fun. So I said we're going to play till we lose. This might be what I'm looking for. 
I'm going to go for Dilly immediately. Great lead matchup. I'm going to go for Rock Blast because I cannot play around here. How low are we on the ladder? Really low, right? That's rock on the swap is so good. I just, yeah, I can't play around. You're going to do this silliness. My most important mon. Please give me a three hit. If I get a two hit, I'm going to cry. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, that's one of the scariest Pokemon for one of our most valuable Pokemon. So not my favorite trade at the end of the day. Um, plus, you know, rocks would be <laughs> real nice to get up. But everyone's faster than I'm not going to get an opportunity to get them up. I don't have anyone who's safe to swap in on Hurricane here. Fair enough. At least we get to swap against whoever they're going to. Terrible crit to start the game, but oh well. I see Lando, Earth Power, Psychic, Sludge Bomb, Focus Boss, Rock. Hmm. Look at this up already. I apologize. Earth Power, Focus, Sludge Bomb, Psychic, Nasty, Clutter, Rock, Slap. I'm just wondering if I want to send Rillaboom into that good sweet night. We have no hazards for the game, essentially. Um, Venusaur, I'm scared to do. Hmm. Not a lot of great options. I guess I will do Rillaboom because it's actually the better way to think of it. It's got nothing else to do. And my opponents show themselves not to be somebody who swaps out. Honestly, like what else was <laughs> Landers gonna really gonna do there? That's okay. Uh you are very fast. With you and we'll knock off. Probably an offensive Celesteela, which is not great in the sun. You know, it's not my favorite thing. Dragonite. We're gonna go Whimsy Cut and hopefully hit them with an encore. Exactly the case. Okay, I mean that sucks. Thought you would really Stay the course there. Well, Gyro Ball. Oh, that's great. All day, man. Um, so Steel is next. Oh, we have Flamethrower, but it won't kill us. Air Slash will beat everybody else. They're going to autonomize. I want to go to Whimsicott. It could be so many things. I'm going to Leech Seed. It puts us on a timer at least. That hits, thank God. Protect, you're locked in a hurricane. That beats all of us and they forfeit. Okay, the winning streak continues, very nice. Okay, I'm back. I'm thinking, <laughs> I think <laughs> there needs to be a bell for every time I reference John Wick on this YouTube channel. I, I, I'm using all these these like, uh, these like buttons, these scenes right now. Maybe I should be, oh, we get water too, nice. Maybe I should have a John Wick scene. I think that's, I think that's what I've learned. Uh, no rain. Just a rain or water balance, but they do a Mega Swampert, interestingly. We are going to go as a lead. I'm going to see Greninja. Are you faster than Meowskarada? You're not. Let's do it. I was wrong. Made so many mistakes in this life. Meowskarada, I won't let you be another. Not today. Go to Ferrothorn. Get your 12%. That's right. Nice. You don't care about that so much. Get some spikes up. They have no hazard removal either. So yeah, let's get them all up. Let's do it. I'm fine. Toxic spikes is, 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 is nothing to me. It's a joke. It's a sick joke. Top of God. I can actually go to Venusaur after this turn. So, I mean, we're all like grass, three lives of spikes up, no removal. We are, we're primed immediately. I could just go to Rillaboom and maybe win. They're liquidating against <laughs> Ferrothorn. <laughs> just curl. This this toxic is liquidating your fair throat and you're laughing. You're laughing. This is a joke to you. This is this is something this is something funny for you. You'd really laugh about this. Okay, fair enough. We'll go back out. You know, I don't want to play this defensively. I'd rather get a sweep going, but if you're gonna insist on the toxic spikes, then fair enough. Fair enough. What a what a set my opponent's running here. They're trying to I could also go Whimsicott. Let's do it. I'm trying to force this issue. I'll go to Whimsicott. A little bit more aggro. An encore, so you can't go for recovery. Give me a U-turn. Please swap, my friend. It's not that serious. Oh, I hate to see it. Okay. Oh, there goes Toxapex. They're 
one of their two grass neutralities. Actually, no, I'm mistaken. There's there's Kingdra. It's still not good. It's not a good spot. You don't want to be three layers of spikes up, facing down a Venusaur, or a in the back. This little Mon Kong Meow Skirata. It's got a little trick that it can show you. Very funny one. Everyone will laugh. Um... If there's a threat to us losing, I guess it's Golisopod, but it would have to be banded at first impression, which we've got the spikes up for, so now you're not even getting very much out of that. You get like two or three of those swaps going. Uh, you don't answer me. I might look really stupid. Okay, I look pretty stupid. They're not even Protean? I thought they were going to do an Ice Beam. Honestly. Oh, boy. That's not my favorite thing. Uh, I'll go for Earthworm. I want to go... I want to go... The cat, but... I don't want to get toxic yet. I feel like Leechy accuracy is closer to 70%. All 90%. I should do a tier list on percentages of accuracy. I love an 80%. Always hits for me. 70% is bad. 90% terrible. 85% is in between. Uh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to just leech seed my opponent down, but here we are. But I miss leech seed, so here we are. Also, they refuse to swap. It's so weird. Go to Whimsicott. Whims got slower. Man, this team is so fast too. Scarf Miascarada. Whims got with Prankster. Priority with Rillaboom. Like, damn. It's a fast team. Um I'll just Encore, because it's we're gonna recover it all off. Oh, I mean. They did it by Speam. It's Battle Bond. <laughs> what? Oh, Messing around too much this game. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, get a Venusaur, mop that up. They just, they refuse, they, they have yet to swap this whole game for the record. The best thing you can do in Pokemon is swap, and they've yet to do it. This is a, this is a crazy game. I want out. I want, I want off Mr. Bones Wild Ride, please. They're all so offensive. No defensive consideration. Is Swampert not even gonna be Mega? Just a regular Swampert. They just like Swampert. They named it Flood when they were a kid and I thought that was just the neatest thing. Hydro Vortex is not gonna do it either. Uh, I wanna swap in for my Rillaboom. Honestly, let's just, let's just sack Venusaur. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna sweep with Rillaboom at this point. This is unnecessary. This is unnecessary. I'm trying to play it safe. I don't mess around and end the loss streak, but I don't care. I just I just want to win with Rillaboom. I could have led with Rillaboom, clicked Grassy Glide five times, and then gone to Meow Skirata after the fact and clicked that five times, but no, here we are. Volcanion is probably offensive and gonna get two at KO'd. I would wager. If it comes in this turn, I'll probably play it a little bit safe. And go to Cradilly. Maybe I won't. Honestly, I've, I've, enough's enough. Enough's enough. You have to stand up for what you believe in. I've had enough. That's fine. It's Karate Kills, right? Okay. Oh, I misclick. Okay, now I have to be lame. Why am I clicking so badly today? Some bad clicks from your boy. Yeah, Scarada still cleans up, but I just can't swap into it anymore. If I did mess around and lose this game, it'd be the greatest choke ever but live on YouTube. They would have to censor it just because you can't watch somebody literally choke to death on YouTube. It would be like, that's something you see on Live Leak instead. Someone choking to death. That's, that's too upsetting. They're staying the course. They know what they're good at and they're sticking to it. We get lefties just or stealth rocks up just so we beat Kalisapod. 
Appa God never won <laughs> to change their 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 heart of the cards, their their way of the ninja. I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna click this move as long as I need to, but I will never look at me. I will never swap out. <laughs> never. Forget that. What am I? I what, we're, we're playing the same way we play in the carts. You stay in, and it's a cage match until you die. You're daily, I believe you can finish this. <laughs> the haters want to say it's not possible for you to win this Cordelli, but I believe in you. You're not helping the allegations with that, though. Cordelli, you can win anything that you put your mind to, even if it's 6% per Rock Blast. Although, I should have Rock Blasted there. That was cowardly. Oh, maybe not. Um, I can only do 34% with Flower Trick, which would be a recipe to losing. Cordelli did not beat the allegations that it could 6-0. Also, can we talk about the wild choice? This is actually really got a hit, or else I could lose. Okay, good. Top of God is using a Pokemon that forces them to swap, which is like diametrically opposed to their way of the ninja. So I'm I'm kind of stunned. Nice. Nice. Later. In comes Swampert. Which again, I don't. I want to swap to Meowskarat. Meowskarat is a nothing this game, but. If they somehow reveal superpower, I lose. So we'll stay. I can actually still lose if. Okay, I could have gone to me as Grata. And I shall. If it's an, if it's an emergency exit or a, a first impression glass about it, still gets a little bit scary. Okay, he thinks the, the win streak is still going. So we're gonna get another game. It's gonna be an hour and a half live. Ice. Okay, this could this could definitely threaten us, especially you, big boy. Um, gonna want to get thick fat up ASAP. Uh, great double switch on our part. And we're gonna take the win. GG to them. You know what? They made it interesting considering it's grass versus water and they have no removal, but also because I was just like playing around a little too much. Um, here we are. Okay. Um, there's different options. Ferrothorn is a good lead matchup against. Uh, Ninetales Alola, which would be if they're trying to get up uh, Aurora Veil immediately. Plus, we go for Spikes if we see something else. If we see Darmanitan Galar, I can mash Protect and then um, see what they're trying to click. Rillaboom, does it kill it 1v1? It doesn't. Close. Uh, Rocks would be great, of course. Mios Karada doesn't beat Darmanitan 1v1 either. No, that's we're definitely getting hazards up if that's the case. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Ferrothorn. You wanna get Thick Fat up ASAP, but yeah, this is always gonna happen. Um, it's a roll to kill through Aurora Veil, which we're gonna fail. Hopefully we don't get Hypnosis. That'd be really shitty. I think that's a cheesy, cheesy move on Ninetales. There's so many better moves. Aurora's fine. Uh, it's actually not great here, but I think we still get the Flower Trick through this. If my calc is correct. Not great. Maybe I should have U-turned out to Ferrothorn just so I could protect and the Darmantin is coming right this second. It's not awesome. Not awesome. I think I probably gotta sack someone. Miascarada seems decently good. Mega Glalie too. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I, I, had, a, I had a heartbeat of like, oh, it's a it's a moody Glalie. I didn't know that was legal in this tier. No, it's definitely Mega Glalie. Um, speaking of thick fat users, we do a lot of damage here. This is a good Mon. This could be a really good cleaner, but I also have a Rillaboom for that roll. So let's do it. Almost killed. Uh, I'll do this. I think you're probably banded. Very high tempo game so far. It was a leftovers nine tails, which I missed, which is actually really, really nice for us. We have a chance to kill a, a Darmantan Galar now. Yeah, we really do. Okay, that's exciting. Um, I think it's gotta be Glalie as a swap right now, in which case go to Ferrothorn. We still haven't had a chance to Mega Evolve our Venusaur yet. See Avalug instead. Uh, Rapid spins a threat, so we're gonna go to Ferrothorn here. They just Avalanche straight up, fair enough. I'm gonna go for the Leech Seed. 
Covers a swap. Covers if they stay in for a rapid spin. I just want to make sure I leave this battle with one uh, spike intact. See vanilla, so you're trying to go to renew their uh, screens. Fine by me. Okay, fair enough. We'll go to Venusaur. This is a totally chill matchup in my opinion. Empower Fires, not doing as much as Sludge Bombs. So we'll go for the uh, status here. Oh, huge. They crit, I was saying that's that's doing way too much damage, but yeah, the crit makes total sense. Oh, Synthesis weakened too. Okay, we'll leech seed. Mm, no, I'll Synthesis now that Snow's done. Amazing. Sludge Bomb for the kill. Venusaur, clean up. Have yourself a day against the Ice Mons. We do not care. Um, there's something else I want to do. I'll do, I'll do, I'll do rocks. They blizzard and crit. I sorry, I skipped animation just reflexively. When I play alone, I mash that skip animation button like it's my job. But I really shouldn't do it when I'm on a video like this. It's very rude. So you were X. So that's a spadef Cradilia. That was really wild that it killed. I think your specs. In which case, Grassy Glide should kill, but you have to buff from Snow Warnings. I'm gonna play it just a teensy, teensy bit safe. Holy crap. <laughs> more lefties. Three more turns of snow. Glalie makes an appearance. I don't think Glalie has any setup. So I'm just gonna protect. You're a special Glalie. My word. Uh, 328. So Wimscott can chip, and then I can go for the win with Rillaboom. I think Venusaur lives this, but it's a physical Venusaur, so I'd rather keep that for Darmanitan. Uh, so we'll do Wimscott. A to burn the last turn of snow. B, I can get some more chip on this guy, so I just 100% kill with Grassy Glide. Oh, what a misplay. What did they think it was going to click? Tailwind? What did they, what did they think was happening? Their Manitans last. I guess I'm worried that it's set up. But I have I have priority, so I'm okay. Like I was worried if it was like a like a belly drum or something. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. GG to them. Another disadvantage matchup won by the Grass Gang. The Grass Boys. 11 and 0. Was that from the last live too? Did I go undefeated last live? I'm recording two in a row here. Seven and zero. So I did go undefeated in the last live. Damn, what a day! What a day for Monotype. Flying another disadvantage one. We're gonna see how we do here. Uh, interesting formation for a team for sure. Uh, I was running a grass team actually recently that had uh, in this tier. I was I was testing a little bit before I started playing today, and it had. Z Stone Edge Bloom. That put in surprising work, especially against line types like this. Obviously, that's why it came to mind. I was like, that is fun as hell. Uh, okay, we're going to go to. Bloom's doing nothing this game. Garmy's a huge pain in our side. Any steel flying is going to be the biggest obstacle of any um, Monograss team. We're going to go for that. I'm going to go to you. I'm gonna encore. Yeah. Because so you got for coverage. Brave Bird, bad. If it's body press, we swap in all day. I'll defog. I don't like this exchange right here. Okay, fine. That'll be a good time to swap for them. It's pretty obvious what I'm gonna click. No, they're really. I mean, I, you're gonna run a PP, man, but okay. You would be able leftovers too. We're really doing this, huh? We'll do it next time for sure on this next encore. I, mean, I guess you could run up encores. Weird. Oh, my phone is way too loud. Uh, this is so weird. Don't lose this 1v1. Why are you forcing this? They break right here. They're so insane. Okay. The one time I don't do it, they are pretty insane. I think they might have, the, they'll probably have body press. 
you know, Whimsicott. Maybe the play was someone else. Got to know I'm encoring that, friend. I'm running low. I'll defuck first. You must have body press behind defense. You. There's another one. The three hit KO. I'll leech seed just to make this slightly more even. What a weird game they're playing here. They're not even roost? Defog remove there. No, it doesn't. That's what I thought. Okay. This is so weird. <laughs> of course, it's happening 45 minutes into a live. Or again. They're insisting on wasting their most valuable Mon, who's running this really wild set. Let me get this off. We're gonna Moon Blast, I mean. Chase your bliss, man. Chase your bliss. I guess I'll Encore. Burn the last one. Leaves three layers of spikes up, so I guess it succeeded. It died with three layers of spikes up. If you had asked me going into this whole wild 24 turn escapade would you trade three layers of spikes against skarmory the most like scary pokemon for you to face i'd say yeah i probably would do i still have defog pp on whimsicott which is never something i thought i'd ask going into it yes okay then sure bet um i'll defog now like ice fang doesn't even hurt me you didn't even let the dog scorp trigger Woo! What is happening? What is happening? Acrobat. <laughs> I think we found another person who refused to swap, <laughs> no matter the cost. I will die before I swap. Don't feel safe swapping out to anybody else. Even Cradilly's a little bit spooky. If Ferrothorn's taking this much damage, it must be max attack, I'm guessing, based on 25% to a max defense Ferrothorn. So sure. Aha! Wow. Great. We learned they can swap. Incredible. Will the meta adjust? If I somehow manage to lose this because of a random Halucha, I will go Feral. Close combat can't kill. Unless it's abandoned. Wow, okay, that's close. Really important mon getting chipped. We don't love it. It's a life orb. Okay. Mold breaker life orb. I could have got the mold breaker probably. Oh, I feel like uh Kaido from One Piece. I just want to die. My opponents are sending out mold breaker life orb <laughs> fire punch out lucha against me. Uh let's go. I don't know. It's probably gonna be specs and die, right? Of course. <laughs> In retrospect, what else could it have been? <laughs> oh, come on. That's annoying. <laughs> In retrospect, like that was so obvious. <laughs> Give the stealth rocks, just kind of guarantee the win at that point. You know? I thought all the heat was on the low AA ladder, but boy, was I mistaken. Oh, so they're going to be stunned to find out a rock blast. I don't really care about the substitute. They're going to do it. That son of a bitch. They're going to do it. They go to the moon. Nobody say substitute. Hurricane. Write that down, write that down. It's too <laughs> protect. What? They're just clicking moves. What are they going to reveal next? Like, water bubble? Are they trying to pee pee stall with this Pelipper? Does it have roost? What is. And they're getting a 100% confusion rate. They also haven't missed a hurricane. This is stunning. This is going to work. I'm going to lose to this Pelipper. 
the is it Serene Grace Pelipper? Is it like is it the spot from across the Spider Verse just altering probability in space and time? This life is aging me so greatly, so greatly. Okay, it does take two rock blasts. They're gonna run into hurricanes, actually. That's for sure the problem. If they substitute here. Okay, thank God. Is it boots? It's not boots, damn it. Damn, damn it, pipe works. Fuck. <laughs> That's so funny. This is, this is the game to end all games. It's gonna be three hour live. I'm too good with grass. I'm too nice with it. Uh. Sure. I kind of need this guy for Pelipper, but I'm not too afraid. It's Whirlwind's Aerodactyl. Huh? Oh, man. That's so funny. Guess who's back? <laughs> we never left. We're still here. <laughs> In comes the banded Glyasaur. No, the Toxic Orb Glyasaur, of course. Of course, silly me. Don't substitute. Don't do it. Confuse, full confuse. Yep, that tracks, yep. <laughs> oh man. We'll substitute this turn, I guess. I tried my hand at a hazard slash tall team, but I've clearly been completely outclassed. You know, you're trying some new stuff out. I respect it. I'm not gonna, hopefully I don't see this video and me just, you know, 30 minutes to be dunking on them. It's not meta, say what you want. They beat to their own drum. Boom, boom. Okay, if we can not get full confused, I can maybe end this game now. Roost has gotta be your last move though, right? It's a Pelipper. But I feel like this is just a game they use in the cart or something because who, who, who runs Roost in the cart? Just doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, I feel like I can get a new game now. At this point, Rillaboom actually cleans. They're out of hurricanes. Okay, I'm gonna go to Rillaboom. GG. When people get mad at the early GG, I feel like at points like this, where the game is just like literally being decided, there's, there's zero possible way for you to win. Like I could, I could try right now to throw and lose the game, and I still wouldn't. Um, so I feel like when the game is essentially decided, I always say GG. Some people get tight about that, but like, whatever. Um, Hypeworks, that was the most memorable game I played all week, that's for sure. Godspeed. So we are now 8-0, no. not a bad streak. Let's just, let's get to number one on the ladder. This will be a 10 hour live. My girlfriend comes back, she's like, we gotta go. Like we have to, we have plans tonight. I'm like, I'm sorry. What, what, you can't leave, you can't leave when it's a hot table. It's true in the casino. It's true on Showdown. What else is a hot table? It's true at a uh, Hibachi Grill. You can't leave a hot table. We get ground here, very nice. Um, probably gonna see one of these two that are grass. There's actually four grass neutralities, which is crazy. Still not a real answer for Grassy Glide spam, but like, damn. Um, Landorus, we're not running gravity. Um, I'm just wondering what the first, the best move first is. I think if we see you, I want Whimsicott. If we see you first, I want a U-turn out. Is Whimsicott two at KO a, a hip out on? Nearly, but no. Um, Giga Drain Venusaur would be an excellent lead matchup. Alas, um, just I, I do. Worry, there's a lot of options I could do for everyone that like lead matchups that cover five of the six options. But Landorus with Sludge Bomb is how I lose this game. Well, not even mentioning you. You could be Scarf at that point. Um, yes, Karada I like against you, but I don't like against you. Who I think is probably the lead. You're three thirty one. Okay, I'm gonna go with Scott. And I can U-turn worst case scenario. Okay, you turn it is. You go for rocks. I'm gonna moon blast on rocks. If they toxic, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Special attacks drop. That's huge. 
And I'll encore, then I'll defog. Not what I would have chosen for my lead matchup, but not too bad. Uh, this mod isn't essential, so I'm gonna risk you turn to find out if they're Scarf or not, which they are. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to you. I'll go to the Leech Seed. I actually didn't really have a swap there, to be honest. If I suspected they were Scarf, which I didn't back then, I guess it's Credilly. I wouldn't really have had much intel unless I like go through the numbers of it all. I don't love Scarf Needle King because pure reason why I use Scarf Needle King, I want to make this a video a long time ago in Sword and Shield OU when Scarf Curum was a thing. Where I think when a set's like primary and like majority uh, reason why you use it is for a surprise set, I don't love it. Now granted, you get a kill there. Amazing, it's worth it, right? But what about all the other times where you don't get what you need out of it? Like it's not fulfilling the role in your team that you need as like as a versatile wall breaker. You can be counter swapped, on, counter swapped on very easily. So that is a debate. I think I don't think there's a right answer or a wrong answer on the value of surprise sets. Most notably being like a Scarfmon that you don't expect to be a Scarfmon. Again, Curum uh, base, whatever you want to call it, from Sword and Shield was always I think the most the best example of that. But Needle King's a good one too. So I, I mean, not my cup of tea, but. Got a kill, you know? Good for them. We've been a more careful player. Again, I could have been Cordelli and really scoped it out, but oh well. We could lose this game, honestly. There's again, there's four neutralities. It's not like Rillaboom is an overwhelming sweep. Um, if we could get up a ton of hazard support, I like our odds, but even then, extra Joel's standing firm and ready. Um I think just the I think it's one of our better matchups because well, let me let me back up a step. A lot of what grass teams, or what ground teams run is gravity sets where they go, I don't care what your answer is to flying type Pokemon. I'm going to set up gravity and my banded sandstorm boosted extra Joel is going to sweep you 6-0. Good luck. And in that scope of team, grass is actually the hardest counter you can have because I don't care. All my mons are handling it pretty well. Rillaboom is going to set up grassy terrain. We're weakening even further. We're, we're, we don't give a shit about you if that's the case, right? Um... I don't think that's this because I'd be surprised if this Landorus Eye was gravity as well. I'm just gonna run out of team at that time at this rate. They're so they're just popping off so hard with that flamethrower. I had to vamp for three minutes here. Um so I don't think that's probably what they're running. Maybe they're running deep calcs. They're going into the source code. Out on. Uh I'll go to I'll go to fair. I'm just debating whether I want rocks or spikes up more. Getting you mega is nice, just for the stats, honestly. We don't need the thick fat, I don't think. Well, actually, we do against Needle King. What am I saying? Okay, getting that up is very nice. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're running against Gravity Team. I think it's just a gravity balance, which is pretty fearsome. Um, again, they've got so many neutralities to our team. I think that they've got a good shot as far as many go. I was like grounded, but they're just going to run out of time there, which is weird. Like they're just doing the most basic plays. They must be distracted by something because sometimes I feel bad when I run the time route on opponents and they're just like clearly scrambling to think of the right play. But there they just clicked flamethrower and then they just walked away from the computer for two minutes. So don't feel too bad. Um, flying, I think, if I'm speaking to last generation, probably the hardest counter to grass. I'm missing anyone. I you could just push your shit in in a hurry. Ice was never great, but I don't mind ice, especially now that we've got a thick fat mod. I don't think I care about that so much. I think I would say this is the hardest counter. I mean, I've, I've said it a couple times by now that steel grass is the hardest thing you can deal with. They've got two here. Sorry, that steel flying is the hardest thing you can deal with. They got two here. They got Charizard as a major concern. I think Zapdos Galar is going to single handedly maybe win this game for them. So this might be where we're undone, but we're low ladder. If I can outplay them, I can definitely win. I am going to lead the Scarf Zapdos. It's Bad. It gets real bad in a hurry. Real, real bad. Um, I want to keep Fairthorn healthy for that. If that's the case. I want to keep Rudilly healthy for Charizard. Wimscout would be if it's if it's a banded Zapdos Galar, I would risk that and try to kill them. What does Mios Karada do versus you? Can't kill. We need rocks up soon if that's the case. If that's the case, I'm tempted to go for rocks. I actually wouldn't be surprised if you Charizard X looking at the foundation of this team. Hmm. No, you got a Salamance. Maybe not. Um, and Mantine's just the defogger, and that means you're probably offensive. It could also be Haze. There's a lot to consider. Uh, Rillaboom's gonna do nothing. I almost want to throw it out as fodder turn one. 
Tough turn one. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm roasting my punt for taking too long last turn. Here I go. I'm going to go with the... Venusaur, I think I like. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, Terra... Their max Spadef. It's only doing 45%. That's crazy low. Let's leave seed. Let's get that up. Okay, bad turn for me. I could have gotten 40% on them, but I thought they were going to maybe go, like, just the presence of that made me think they were going to go for, like, setup or something. Or, like, I could recover some Brave Bird damage off while, like, getting an easier swap down the road. Charizard makes an appearance. We are neutral to fire moves, but not to Hurricane. Sludge Bomb's resisted. It still has a chance to two at KO even before he's set into uh, everything else. I think Charizard, this is where I'm keeping you healthy. Ah, oh, that's so strong. It's with thick that. We get the poison. Very nice. Credilly should be able to handle this. No, it doesn't. Holy crap, that's strong. Okay, I gotta sack him on. This is Venusaur's job. It's gotta be you. You fucked up your one job, Venusaur, but I'm just more upset that we, like, really take that chip just for nothing. Uh, who can kill at this point? Gotta be one Sakata. No, it's gotta be Sir Escarada. We love that, because even if they swap out, we have a good opportunity. Oh. I can't believe how strong that was. Chip on you is nice. Lefties. Rocky Helmet. Okay. Even more nice. I'm just going to U-turn. I'll get a Ferrothorn, which lets in Charizard, though. But everyone does. I have to sack another Mon. Oh, hold on. This. I'll protect so they can't U-turn. Okay. <laughs> Unreal. That invites in Zapdos. Yeah, let's see what they're clicking. It's a physical move I can go to. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I can't kill with Neoscarada. Um, let's get for sure killing. I would have killed, I think, even before Sun, or at least being close. I'm just that's pretty useful. It's an offensive Celesteel, which looking at the structure of this team, I think it is. I can encore them and lock them into like an a, a autonomize or something. I can probably, I don't know. I think it might be the Scarfer. Or it's like a prop. There's a chance I can kill you and you with Moonblast. I think it beats the Mantine 1v1. Depends if it's running Hurricane or not, obviously. It's even useful against, so I, I can't risk it. I'm Scott. It's probably Rillaboom. You have superpower, which is useful against Celesteel and, and Corviknight, but not enough. Cradilly is a tough one because there's a good chance that by the end of the game, like, yeah, you know what? Cradilly never got a chance to recover. That was useless. It's Stealth Rocks, and it's an okay answer against Mantine and, like, all that shit. I mean, I was to need the speed control. Ferrothorn's definitely too important. So it's got to be Rillaboom. Took my time thinking about that, but I just wanted to make sure I made the right play there. Here's where it's tough. I mean, Karada, if I am... Um, set Terra to Fairy. I guess we can't probably tell what's happening. Uh, I don't die to, to Blaze Kick. I think. 91, close. Attack falling. Oh my god. Oh my god, thank god. This is so stressful. You should swap out. I really want to get a double switch. Okay, good play. Uh, one, Scott. I don't think you air slash this scenario. You might flash cannon, which would suck. This is a really important mod. Um, you're probably the Scarfer. Place kick doesn't kill. They'd have to brave bird, and then they, at least they die themselves, which is nice. So they don't get to come away with nothing. Does Ferrothorn take? Or hit KO? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. I click.
the blaze click there. It's crazy, but at least we get a lot of recovery back with leftovers and grassy terrain. Shower ball is going to do a ton to you. What do you have as your move pool? Dual wing beat's not going to kill. I think we do take this. You can't kill me. Oh, you just die now. What a misplay. Uh, maybe actually. Oh, maybe not. Rang is revealed. Terrifying. Um, they're leftovers. So, okay. Um, let's go to Cordelia. I don't think we have any chance to recover with you, which does make a little bit scary going forward. Barfang should kill. The thing is, if I don't go to Cordelia, I don't know what else I do. I have to sack one of these two. Wimsicott, I think I'm thinking is too important. There's a chance that I'm going, why did I sack Wimsicott? It's on the Celesteel, you know. It's probably a flamethrower Celesteel, though, which is really scary. I say need Cordelia. Even then, I'm praying I don't get air slash flinched. Cordelia's great against Mantine. It's in the Corviknight site. It's solid there, but we're going to keep Ferrothorn for Corviknight. Maybe it's Miascarada? Seems weird to say because it's just such a great speed control mon, but... Not going to matter against Mantine. Oh, it won't matter against... Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's Miascarada. I have to sack two mons probably because of Leftovers, damn it. Uh, actually, I won't be able to recover off of it because of leftovers. I won't be able to beat it. There's probably nothing I could have done on this turn. It's got Fire Fang on a mono flying team. Uh, Fire Fang kills. We get that, which is awesome. Uh, I think I want Cordilli. Let's kill. The, no, they get leftover troops first, please. Oh my God, that's really lucky. I can't complain about luck. I think they're running Fire Fang is still wild. There's a 1% world where I can win this matchup. What a game. <laughs> they do forfeit, no GG. And the climb continues. We got 40 ELO from that. They were all the way at 1500 ELO. That's probably why they were fighting so hard. They didn't want to lose to someone low rank like me. Little do they know, I'm the 14 and 0 monotype master, brother. I think I'm gonna edit around that. I don't know, this video is so long and unhinged at this point already. I don't think anyone needs to see me like, literally 40 turns me going, leave seat here, go for this now, do this. Click that, do another one of those. I think I lose the next two or three games I edit around that, but I, I, I know other things to say, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just vamping on my editing thing. I think I'll edit around it if it's two or three more games than I lose. If this video goes over two hours, I think I'd keep it in just as a full unhinged, like, what the hell is going on? What did I sign up for? What is, what's, what's happening? The latter doesn't know who to place me with. They're like, we, this guy's winning everything. I don't, is, is he? Top one in the world right now. I think you need 1500 ELO to get to the top 500. So, still got a ways to go for that, but it's a good start. It's a good start for the National Dex Monotype career. I mean, it feels like, you know, I feel like this play style, like, it's like a hand in a glove. I, I love the last generation, my favorite typing. Just gets better, of course, with Mios Garada, but let's not forget about Venusaur. You get poison, a uh, number of huge threats. Uh, Venusaur actually does really well against our team, which just seems ironic, but it really, really does. Depending on what they're running, too, they can be more offensive than ours is and actually beat us 1v1. Uh, Gengar is scary for sure. We might have tools to beat it. Measle, I think if it's Acrobatics, will beat us pretty badly. Um, Iron Moth is the big question mark, though. So we're going to go to Cordelia as a lead. We crush the lead matchup. 
I'm looking for stealth rocks. You should swap out. You should swap out. You're, you're smart enough. You're 1400 ELO. You're smart enough to know you should swap out. Dick I've I, I won the lead matchup. Don't make a big deal out of it. Okay, we see you. In theory, um, Venusaur beats everything, but okay, yeah, you're, you're offensive like that. Okay, that's great. Um, I'll leech seed doesn't cover a Venusaur swap, but covers everything else. Was my big concern is is this going to be? I mean, banded sneezel sneezer is obviously terrifying, but my big concern was going to be an acrobatics, uh, white herb sort of halucha ripoff set. That's not the case. That's great. Got that play right. I'll be able to go for leech seed here on the Gengar swap. I don't know. Am I forced to swap here? I guess I am. I think it might be Scarf. I'm gonna go Fair Thorn. Gun tank. Okay. I'm gonna protect one turn. I think you get a fire move. I think you get flamethrower or something weird. I'm just gonna protect for one turn. Okay, yeah. Thank you. I'm I'm very glad I did that. Uh I guess it's gotta be Cradilly. Uh, I should double swap. So afraid to double swap. I'm a little coward. It's such an offensive team, too. Uh, if you're my opponent, you're probably going Venusaur here. You might stay the course, or you could go Sneasler. Okay. Made the right play. You know what? 18% is better than no percent. Stealth Rocks here. As we see, Iron Moth? No. Sneasler again? Okay. Probably a U turn here. I don't care. Go for U-turn. It's 20%, but whatever. Maybe 15%. Or Dire Claw. Okay. Doesn't get anything there, luckily. Going for straight synthesis right now. Good play. You could definitely status me. Earth runs the play now. We're back at the 70. Do they double swap? They do have hazard support, so spikes would be excellent if not for that defog that was just revealed. Um, I'm gonna go for Leech Seed though. Just because I want, I thought Iron Moth would come in and I wanted a more comfortable swap into whoever I go to next. Okay, good to know we eat, handle that easily, especially with Leech Seed. We see Sneasler again, whatever. Um, yeah, okay. They do stay the course. Oh my God, are you serious? My calc is saying it shouldn't have even done as much damage as it did. So I don't know what, like, in regards to rolls, what to think right now. I have no other answer. Okay, we see Venusaur come out. Depends on whether we want to go to Ferrothorn or not. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn, I guess, to just protect. Okay. Protect. This is why we love it. Just scout it out. Let's see if you got that fire move on you. If you do, we got a full. If you don't, we got a full health. Someone else. Trapple's not doing enough, so I'll go for spikes. I guess I go. I don't even know what to do about Venusaur. Like it's like I said, it's kind of a weird problem for our team. I don't think Burning Jealousy is doing enough to scare me. Uh, after math and Rocky Helmet hits us there. So we lose a ton of health on a really valuable Mon. Especially in regards to Sneasler, which is like, it's our only poison immunity. That's scary, but any hazards we get up at this point in the game do stay up, which is very nice. And Moth, I suspect, is kind of Scarf or maybe something. It could be Boots. I don't know. I think we, I think we saw that it wasn't, actually. This is great. This is why we keep carry Protect. You know, I get the appeal of uh, Body Press, but not for me, thanks. You could get status by, oh no, you can't get status by Poison Touch either. So this is a great answer. Synthesis makes sense. I'm gonna go for, no, I'm gonna Synthesis. I'm gonna Leech Seed instead of, instead of Leech Seed. You're not choice locked and you get to crit there. It sucks. It's so brutal. 
Ah. Oh. Sneezer's a huge problem now. Um, okay. I can't even really revenge kill you. Uh, I think it's probably gonna end their run, but I'll go to you and Artrix so easily eaten by Venusaur. Knockoff will be the same. Player off is gonna be even more easily eaten by Venusaur. Um, can I can I go to Ferrothorn and try to take a close combat and close and, and gyro ball? I can't. Outspeed and kill Whimsicott. You outspeed and kill Rillaboom unless I grassy glide. I don't hate against this team, especially with the Heligos. Really scary him on. Um this isn't your match to be there. Okay, so I gotta choose between one of these two. I gotta sack one Mon. Just get my chip. I guess Rillaboom hits harder. I'll do this. They should swap out. I think they swap out and they win the game with Sneasel or now. Okay, huge throw. We love it. And we get the kill somehow. Okay, my calc is off. Amazing. Oh my god, that's how we that was gonna be the end of the live for sure. Okay. Wow. Oh, Hella goes next. Um, I'm expecting a poison move, but if they go for a uh, meter beam, I'll have to sack somebody else. But oh well. Amazing. For spikes. Just because I'm worried about Venusaur at this point in the game. I think Leech Seed so I can kind of play around Iron Moth or Gengar would be nice, but I'm more worried about Venusaur at this stage of the game for sure. Made some weird plays. I mean, offensive Poison should be wrecking us, but we're doing all right so far. Do agility that would suck? Maybe they're predicting the Cordillia? Rock Blast kills here. I'm okay trading this here. Please hit, please hit, please hit, please hit. One, two, please three hit. Oh, that's the one thing I didn't miss about playing Mono Grass. Okay, they forfeit. One thing I didn't miss about playing Mono Grass was praying for Rock Blast accuracy. Holy crap. Oh, Steel, another disadvantage matchup, but I, you know, I can't introduce everything like that. Grass can play around that pretty well. Um, and it's, you know, like, everything's disadvantage for grass, technically, right? Like, dragon, seal, poison, flying, like, fire, there's a million. You can't be playing that bug, you can't be playing that and, and, and bemoaning your luck if that's the case. Rillaboom's actually decent in this matchup, that's very nice to see. I am going to lead with my, they have no hazard removal. Very exciting. Okay. I'm gonna do Ferrothorn as a lead, just because I feel like we might see, okay. I'm gonna go Cordilly straight up. Yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to terrestrialize. Terrestrialize, geez. You want eh? Oh, okay. Stalthrox, I definitely want up. Weakening Eruption going forward. I think when it comes to having full hazards up, I don't know who cares more. Oh wow, you're both, huh? Damn. I I, I think we. I don't, I don't I don't know who matter it matters to more. You at least have the flexibility to get rid of it, whereas they don't. I don't know. It's my we're, their offense. I guess I'm probably playing into their hands. Oh, for sure, go you then. You see, Ferrothorn again. I'll go into Venusaur. Get that. Uh, Mega Evolve up. I think it's in Terrestrialization earlier. Get that Mega Evolve up. I think we're really threatening, actually. They're only swapping is Heat Ran, who I think... I guess Heat Ran rolls us, but we at least see them and we're happy as clams. Now, Metal makes an appearance. Ferrothorn, they're playing your music, my friends. If you close combat, so be it. I still think we kind of tank it unless you're banded. Earthquake's chill. We'll at least see it here. 
Missed the leech seed. That's very good. Thank you very much. Crit the next earthquake. Awesome. Um, I'll superpower this time. Okay, get that right. I was wondering if I would go for high horsepower against Pharaoh. There is a crit. Okay. Our crit was beats your crit for sure. Aki helmets? Yeah. Okay, so for the loom's nearly dead. Kind of did its job, honestly. Scizor makes an appearance. Totally wrecks us now that Ferrothorn's low. I think I might let you die. Then I can go to Venusaur and go for the Hidden Power Fire. Oh, you don't really, you don't, okay, that's great. You defog? Okay, well I can kind of pick wherever you go to then. I think that's doable. I think I recognize this person from last generation's ladder, Bing Chungus. I think they played a lot of, wasn't Steel. I, I, the name's familiar. There's not enough model type players for me to not recognize. I mean, being low sucks, but if we get a good matchup right now, I could go to them right now and go for Protect and get some Grassy Terrain Chip. You're not who I wanted to see. Gotta go to Pharaoh. Protect, we'll get up to 14%. Double Iron Bash. Might not even kill. Chance. Oh, boy. I feel stupid. Um, okay. I mean, he beats everyone but Venusaur at this point. Are we going to lose to this thing? I think so. We'll play it out. I guess if I wanted to win, the play was going for knockoff first. Damn. For knockoff first, and then Venus Rocket probably won't be won it. Damn. The Ferrothorn getting hurt really, really sucked. That was really unfortunate. Um. Okay, I think this one's alive. Knockoff here. There's not enough tools at this point. There's not enough tools. I think. I think. There's better no way we win this now. They get the gooey proc. There's a chance they don't go for flash cannon here. I'll play for the choke. Toxic's not great for us. Encore it. I need spikes up actually too. I wouldn't mind a high roll right now. Oh well. Yeah, you totally win. Um, it's gotta die. Don't think there's a world you live this. Nope, GG. Unfortunate game, but you know, after 15 straight games, whatever it is, you can't get lucky every time. It's only a matter of time. And we got lucky all kinds of times there. So who am I kidding, right? It's easy to focus on the unlucky bits, but not focus on the happy ones. I think that does it for us. I don't know what the recording is at because I know I'm definitely going to edit around that insane mono flying game. But uh, that was fun. As far as first experiences for Nat Dex Go, I think that's pretty solid having a win streak like that. So make sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this. I apologize to everybody who stayed up throughout this whole long video. Hopefully it won't happen too much longer. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Take it easy.